Congressman Pete Stark of California is under fire again today. This time it's after an exchange he had at a town hall with his constituents just a little while ago. The topic in this particular exchange that is raising some eyebrows, E-Verify, which of course allows employers to verify whether a potential worker is here in this country legally or not. Watch this. Do you believe in E-Verify? E Do you support E-Verify? E you don't even know it? E-Verify? E-Verify. Yeah. The electronic verification? Do you support that? Well, Richard Sakharides is the former special assistant to President Clinton and my guest now. All right, Richard, I don't, I don't, I don't know where what to do begin. You say? I don't what know do you where say? to begin. You know, when I worked in Congress uh, in the early '90s, they were already saying stuff about Pete Stark. Like, can you do you believe what he was going to, what he said today? I mean, this guy's famous for putting his guy. foot in his mouth. He's he a colorful guy. He referred to guy. another member of Congress as a fruitcake. He's, he dropped the F-bomb to folks you know, on occasion. You know, he was re-elected last time with 76% of the vote. Well, those, not by those constituents. Not by those people. They don't like I him. I think he was a little set up in this piece. You know, I How think, so? well, I think, you know, the woman who organized it was on Fox and Friends this morning. She said we were on a mission. You see all those people that are cheering uh, for the questioners. I mean, I think he was, like, either unprepared or didn't you care. Think? I think he's a little unprepared. I'm yeah. I mean, you, you tell me, does Pete Stark know what E-Verify is? Well, it's hard to believe that he would not know because uh, it's an important It's hard to believe. It's an important thing that we're doing. Because what he said, this, I've got this written down on my trusty, on, a napkin. on my napkin. This is nothing <laughs> but the best here at Fox News. Um, it says, if E-Verify, he says, if E-Verify um, done randomly without any reason, he says that's been ruled unconstitutional. That's what the Arizona issue is all about. No, it isn't. Yeah, and by yeah. the way, E-Verify, to the extent it's been challenged legally, was just upheld as lawful. S something was not computing in this, in, I at this meeting. And I think, you know, he had a bunch of people who were sort of all over him. He had just been asked, of course, about the Commerce Clause and the ability of the Congress to regulate on health care. And it was, they were really in it. And, uh, and I think he was either confused or startled or something was going on here. I think he was confused. And actually, uh, we've been told by, by somebody who is close to the congressman that uh, he, he may have been confused in terms of the, the question. But here's what I want to ask you, because if you watch that exchange, and you heard it right there, he says to his own voters, you don't like the Constitution. I know that. Well, these he, people were attacking him. But it smacks of arrogance. It doesn't matter if you're being attacked. If you're a U.S. congressman, you're supposed to keep your cool, and you're not supposed to, you know, get in your constituents' faces and tell them you don't like the Constitution because they challenge you on something? Well, listen, he, he has a very unique personality, and he's done this kind of thing before with constituents. And uh, it seems like the voters in his district don't mind because he was, as I say, was elected last time with 76 uh, percent. He's got he's one of the most senior members of Congress. I mean, I don't, it's certainly not how I would conduct myself yeah. or how I would recommend it to anybody. It's certainly not how you would conduct yourself. Well, but I've, this I've is what the voters... I've been known to get upset no, from time to time, No, you are too. always calm, cool, <laughs> and collected. You always know your facts, though, and I don't think uh, he knew his, what he was talking about right now. All right, there. now I want to get to the second part of the tape, which he's come under fire for, which... Uh, may or may not have been taken out of context. We're going to let the viewers decide, and I want you to get, to get you to comment on it. You mentioned it just a moment ago about his comments on just how powerful the federal government is. 
Uh, in particular, he was being questioned about health care. Now, watch. We have actually obtained the full tape, and we've got his remarks in context for you. Watch this. Question is, how can this law be constitutional? But more importantly than that, if they can do this, what can't they? Is your question they can do any, is your answer that they can do anything? The, the federal government, uh, yes, can do most anything in this country. So if we rolled that tape back about 11 minutes, you said the federal government has the power or can do what it needs to do or wants to do. You said that. Yes. Right. So last I checked, we have a thing called the Constitution. There's three branches of government, but you're part of the answer that the federal government has the authority to do anything it wants. Would you roll the tape and get his answer? Okay, because that's not what the Constitution says. No, the Constitution doesn't say that. It just protects you from the government. Okay, let me answer. All right. It protects you from the government, if that's what I represent. And uh, that's why it's there. So if, in fact, uh, the government required you to do something, that was unconstitutional, you would have the right to appeal that. Okay, so just so our viewers understand, first he said the federal government can do most anything in this country. Then later in the part we obtained, he said essentially that but the Constitution is a check on that. Does that change the import of his remarks and the criticism of him? I mean, the mindset that the feds can do what they want, and really it's just the Constitution that has to rein them in. Well, I think the important thing of, the ho of this whole episode is that his answer, that answer we just heard, sort of encapsulates all the fear and all the anger that the conservatives are talking about now in terms of the uh, in terms of whether or not this health care o bill overreaches in terms of whether the government is doing more than it can and now of course you know this debate has gone on for a long time this is a debate about the commerce clause in the u.s. constitution and and the supreme court since the time of fdr has extended uh... the reach of the commerce clause there are obviously checks and balances on this there's a case as you know called morrison a case called foster uh, which, which, which is very specific about what the court can't do, but um, he wasn't in a legal argument, obviously having a legal argument with these people and, right there. And always, always got to be conscious of the cameras in the room. Richard, sure do. a pleasure as always, Richard nice Sakharides. What could possibly make someone toss themselves down the stairs? And what could possibly make themselves do it in front of a surveillance?